If you're not a fan of traveling to exotic locations or escaping to a faraway land for a little rest and relaxation, then you've come to the right place. We're taking you around the world with these next amazing videos with no passport required. Check this out. Oh, damn. Look at this. Oh, shit. We're taking you to Paris and China, a paradise of cats in Disneyland, and a cantina in a nuclear disaster zone. We even get to visit a haunted hotel right out of a Hollywood horror flick. You'll not believe what's out there waiting for you with 15 mysterious things found by tourists. Number 15. Emotional Support Peacock an airline turned away an emotional support animal at a New Jersey airport recently, and not just any animal, a peacock. Typically, airlines know that some customers require an emotional support animal to assist them through their journey. But this time, in order to provide the best service to everyone on board the flights, consistent with government rules, most airlines currently require these customers to provide documentation from a medical professional in at least 48 hours advance notice. That didn't happen in this case, Plus, a statement from the airline to the press stated that the peacock did not meet guidelines for a number of reasons, including its size and weight. Now, let's be fair, it is a very big bird. The tail end alone is huge. The Department of Transportation's guidelines for air travel with service animals states unusual animals are evaluated on a case-by-case -case basis and that airlines may exclude animals that are too large or heavy to accommodate in the flight cabin pose a direct threat to the health or safety of others, could cause a significant disruption of service, or are prohibited from entering a foreign country. As for the emotional support peacock, it was unclear if the passenger and peacock made it to their destination. Now, let's get ready for today's open discussion. Do you think it's at all possible that mermaids exist? This mermaid-like creature washed up in the Abasuma Bay in Egypt on the Red Sea and has people asking themselves that very question. Apparently, a group of divers found the dead mermaid. They speculated that the cause of her death was a collision with a boat. Are you convinced? When it comes to myths and fairy tales regarding the mysteries of the seas and the adventures of brave sailors, mermaids are without a doubt the favorite. Charming and beautiful, yet deadly and deceptive, they lure sailors with their singing and lead them to their watery graves, usually by crashing their ships to rocks and then devouring them alive. If this is a real mermaid, things definitely did not go as planned. But what do you think about this? Real deal or elaborate hoax? Comment below using the hashtag open discussion. You want to know a little secret? If you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you'll have superpowers for the rest of your life. So what are you waiting for? Time to fly. Aww. Number 14, Disney's Feral Cats. If you're not familiar with the Disneyland cats, here's the short version of the story. The resort allows community cats to live there as an added method of pest control. It makes sense, really. Cats tend to stay away from strangers, so they don't really bother any guests, and they naturally hunt the mice that could easily become a problem given the enormous amount of food and trash dropped by guests on any given day. And today, the cats at Disneyland can be seen anywhere on the property, if you're looking closely enough, and they're very, very popular. If you're not a person who has seen one of these cats in real life, you might not understand what people's obsession with them are. But the Disneyland cats have a huge fan club all over social media. There's even a website devoted to all things cats at Disneyland. It has profiles of each cat with some real information about each one. They tend to cozy up next to heat lamps in the courtyard of the Disneyland Hotel, where Trader Sam's Enchanted Tiki Bar is. They like to roam around the Star Wars Galaxy's Edge ride, too. But the one spot where you're basically guaranteed to see them is by Grizzly River Run, along the trees that surround the rapids ride in Disney's California Adventure. Number 13. Color-Changing Lakes Mount Kilimudu is located in Kilimudu National Park on the island of Flores in Indonesia. One of the most famous attractions here is the tri-colored Kilimudu Lake within the summit of the craters. It consists of three great lakes together of varying colors from each other and also at different times, making them a surreal and exciting experience. The tricolored lakes are special because of a naturally occurring phenomenon. Scientifically, the colors of the lakes change due to the discoloration by the sunlight, the water microorganisms, and the dissolution of chemicals. It also includes the reflection from the colors of the walls and the bottom of the lake itself. However, the local people here consider it as a resting place for departed souls. 
They believe that a god of the afterlife and those who died will sit by the lakes based on their merits in life. Therefore, it's connected to the names of each lake, one for the souls of the people, another for the spirits of the young people, and lastly for the spirits of soothsayers. These lakes change color dramatically and unpredictably from blue or green to red or black, making it one of the natural phenomena to be beheld by many. Moreover, the precariously steep road to get them there makes it so much more mysterious and mystifying. Number 12. Cross Island Chapel In order for a building to truly be considered a church, some sort of religious rite has to be performed there. And believe it or not, Cross Island Chapel was built in 1989 and is considered a true church. And this chapel is situated in the middle of a small pond, making a really lovely sight. Everyone loves visiting weird, strange, and unusual roadside attractions, and this is a great one. Marriages, as well as other services, have been performed here. However, this chapel can only accommodate three people at most, just enough for the couple getting married and someone to officiate the ceremony. Therefore, all wedding guests need to watch from the shore or from a boat on the pond. This chapel is really charming, not just because of its diminutive size, less than 30 square feet, but because of the way it's sitting in the middle of a pond. It's supported above the water on wooden piers and boards. The only way to reach the chapel is by boat. There's a small rickety dock on the shore. It really is an idyllic scene. It's easy to see why couples choose this spot as a quaint wedding venue. The pond does get very green with algae at certain times of the year, which only adds to the small church's mystique. Number 11. Life-Saving Museum A Scottish family vacation provided one woman with a potentially life-saving discovery. When walking through a thermal camera at a museum with her family on a trip to Edinburgh recently, the 41-year-old noticed an odd heat patch on her chest, which, incredibly, led to a breast cancer diagnosis. While making our way through the floors, we got to the thermal imaging camera room, she said. As all families do, we entered and started to wave our arms and look at the images created. But while posing for the camera, she noticed something discolored on her chest. Confused, she thought it was odd, and having looked at everyone else's that they didn't have the same, she took a picture and carried on enjoying the rest of the museum. After the vacation, the lucky woman came across this image. At this point, she went online to see what this could mean and saw a lot of articles about cancer and thermal imaging cameras. Just to be sure, she made an appointment with the doctor, and it turns out she did have cancer in its early stages and is currently undergoing treatment to eradicate it. While thermal imaging was a surprise success for this person, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration says that it's no substitute for getting checked by a professional. Number 10. Worst Attraction Ever This attraction, which reportedly cost about $8 million to build, was marketed by the City of London as a unique opportunity to look out over the area for a new perspective. But from the moment it opened, the public was confused, and it was mocked heavily. The marble arch mound promised visitors a lush, green hill that would rise more than 80 feet high, providing visitors with sweeping views of Hyde Park and bustling Oxford Street. But in reality, those who showed up were greeted with what appeared to be an unfinished product and an absence of shops and a cafe that were advertised but nowhere to be found. Plus, a spokesperson for the architecture firm that built the attraction revealed that changes in the planning forced them to make the mound smaller and steeper, making it harder to plant the vegetation they had envisioned. So, recently, contractors finally started tearing down London's disastrous marble arch mound after the pile was widely panned. The controversial eyesore is being dismantled after it was branded the capital's worst tourist attraction and a waste of money. The public has spoken. The marble arch mound is no more. Number 9. China's Fake Eiffel Tower If you're lucky enough to live in this part of China, apartment blocks have been built to replicate Parisian-style architecture, including French neoclassical-style buildings, cobbled streets, and landscaped gardens that Paris, France is renowned for. As for the centerpiece of the city, it's to be the replica of the Eiffel Tower, the second largest replica in the world after the one in Las Vegas. The Parisian neighborhood replica in total measures approximately 12 square miles. The resemblance is pretty impressive, despite being located approximately 6,000 miles east of the real City of Lights, aka Paris, France. It's lined with historic buildings and it opened in 2007 and can accommodate more than 10,000 residents. But by 2017, its population had grown to 30,000 and the development was expanded several times. 
known as the Paris of the East, the luxury real estate development in China was designed to evoke classical European charm. It attracts a steady stream of tourists, including newlyweds looking for the perfect wedding pic. The architecture and landscaping of the area mimics Parisian style, and there's also a version of Paris' spectacular Louvre Pyramid as well. Number 8. Giant Paintball this person has painted a baseball every day for over 30 years to create the world's largest ball of paint, and he has plastered a new coat daily since embarking on the bizarre project in the 1960s. That's an incredible 22,894 coats of paint to create the mammoth ball, which now weighs a staggering 3,500 pounds. It started as a relatively simple project and a bit of fun, but he just kept on painting and painting and painting, and before long, it was enormous. It's now so large that it requires reinforced metal rods to suspend it from the roof of this shed, which he custom built to house the giant paintball. The painter even set up a website highlighting the attraction and now people travel from all over the world to visit to add a coat, which is painstakingly documented in a ledger at home. On January 1st, 1977, his son, at the age of three, put the very first coat of blue paint on the ball, and they painted the ball many times a day, while the ball was little and easy to handle. After a while, it became a piece of artwork and they rather enjoyed showing it off. Now it's become an attraction that people love to come and see. The ball is now a whopping 22.48 inches in diameter, 70.58 inches in circumference, and is officially recognized by the Guinness World Records as the biggest ever recorded. Number 7. Newspaper House This incredible house belonged to Swedish immigrant Eli Stenman a mechanical engineer who lived with his wife in Cambridge, Massachusetts. In 1922, the Stenmans began constructing the summer home in nearby Rockport, a seaside town located on the eastern tip of the Cape Ann Peninsula. It was built with a traditional wood frame and roof, but the walls and insulation are made entirely of varnished newspapers. The home is furnished with a table, chairs, lamps, a desk, a cot, a radio cabinet, curtains, a bookshelf, a fireplace, and a grandfather clock all of which are made from rolled newspapers. The Stenmans used the paper house as a summer retreat from 1924 to 1929. The house had running water, electricity, and a stove. The mostly brick fireplace was also usable. Even the curtains are made of paper, and to this day, the paper house has persisted in the face of harsh New England winters and several hurricanes. The question that arises most frequently with visitors to this place is the one that no one can really answer. Why would anyone build a house, and most of its furniture, using more than 100,000 newspapers? I guess because they could. Number 6. Giant Shark This shark was spotted 100 miles offshore of New England on a six-week marine research trip from Florida to Massachusetts, and it certainly gave the passengers a scare. The video was taken from high up on the mast. The shark swims slowly in a circle near the surface of the water as screaming passengers rush to the side of the boat to get a closer look at what appears to be a basking shark. No need to worry, the basking shark is the second largest fish in the world and are filter feeders that eat tiny planktonic prey. They don't eat people. Reaching lengths of 40 feet and resembling predatory sharks in appearance, the basking shark can give an intimidating impression, but they're quite harmless. They spend most of their time near the surface, swimming with their extraordinarily large mouths open, filtering out their preferred prey, but they also make deeper feeding dives. Though they're quite large, there are gaps in scientists' knowledge of their life history characteristics because they have very large individual home ranges and do not stay in any one place for longer than a couple of months. So these people were very lucky to get a glimpse of such a rare creature. Number 5. Haunting at the Shining Hotel Welcome to the Stanley Hotel in Colorado. It was first opened in 1909. The hotel features 420 rooms, plus ballrooms, dining areas, and an underground cave system. But that's not why it's so buzzworthy. A tourist from Texas who visited recently on vacation captured an image on film that she can't explain. It appears to be a female standing at the window. There one minute and gone the next. The hotel is known for that sort of haunting. The staircase between floors in the hotel's main guest house has been dubbed the Vortex, a supernatural spiral of energy known as the Rapid Transit System for ghosts that are known to haunt the hotel. And that's only the beginning. Now, today's guests report hearing children running around, laughing, giggling, and playing. Several other guests have ghost stories of their own, reporting lights flickering on and off, 
doors abruptly slamming shut, seeing shadows, getting chills. The hotel has been jokingly referred to as Disneyland for ghosts. It's most famous for creeping out horror writer Stephen King, so much so that he penned his horror classic The Shining, about a man who goes crazy in a hotel and goes on a murder spree. So you too can soak up the same Rocky Mountain views that King got when he stayed here. As for the woman in the window, nobody knows. Number 4. Temple of Rats Legend has it that this rat temple in India dates back to the 1400s when Karnimata, an incarnation of the god Durga, asked the death god Yama to reincarnate the son of a grieving storyteller. First refusing, Yama eventually relented, permitting all of Karnimata's male children to be reincarnated as rats. And this is how it all began. And rats here are a very big deal. While the origins of rat worship in India go back to the 15th century, the current temple, with its intricate marble panels and solid silver carvings, was built in the early 1900s. And now the temple has around 20,000 rats in residence. Though most of the temple devotees work at the temple in shifts based on the lunar cycle, some families live in the temple permanently, taking care of the rats and sweeping the floor of excrement and food crumbs. The rats, known as kabas or little children, are fed grains, milk, and coconut shells from large metal bowls. Water the rats drink from is considered holy, and eating the rats' leftovers is said to bring good fortune to those making the pilgrimage to the temple. The devotees have another reason to keep the rats safe and happy, according to the temple laws. If one of the rats is accidentally killed, it must be replaced with a rat made of silver or gold. Number 3. The Chernobyl Cafe Although a vacation to the site of a nuclear disaster might not be on everyone's bucket list, tourism at Chernobyl in Ukraine is booming. So, where do you eat and what do you eat during the trip? Canteen 19 is a real hot spot, a proper cafeteria in the middle of Chernobyl's exclusion zone. According to local reviews, this canteen has selected the dishes that are able to provide guests with the energy needed for the mission you have selected, the exploration of one of the most dangerous places in the world. This is one of the most radioactive places on our planet. In 1986, a disastrous meltdown at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant in Ukraine led to two enormous explosions, blanketing the region with reactor debris and its radioactive fuel. But there are still people here who call this place home. And they gotta eat, right? In addition to keeping Chernobyl workers nourished throughout the long cleanup, the canteen welcomes the tour groups that venture into the exclusion zone on Ukrainian government-sanctioned trips. The zone's most popular dining hall offers a menu of solid Eastern European fare, including schnitzel and sweet cream-filled crepes. The good news for health-conscious diners is all the dishes are made from ecological products imported locally. Number 2. Priceless Art Destroyed Talk about whoopsie-daisy, a tourist damaged a 19th century masterpiece while taking a selfie. The tourist, who has been revealed as a 50-year-old man from Austria, leaned on the artwork by sculptor Antonio Canova while posing for a photograph. He accidentally broke off three of the toes of the sculpture at a museum in Italy. CCTV footage shows the man jumping into the 200-year-old statue's base to take the picture and snapping off its toes in the process. Doesn't he know you're not supposed to touch the art? Antonio Canova was an Italian neoclassical sculptor who lived from 1757 to 1822 and was renowned for his marble statues like this. The incident happened when the man broke away from his friends to get a selfie while sprawled over the statue. According to a press release, when contacted by police, the man confessed to the selfie fail, but his bad luck didn't end there. According to investigators, there could be further damage caused to the base of the sculpture that's yet to be discovered. In his letter, the tourist said that he exhibited irresponsible behavior when he sat on the statue without realizing the damage I evidently caused. I apologize in every way. Hopefully, he's learned his lesson about selfies and museum etiquette. Number 1. Angels on a Plane Angelology is the study of angels, and in 1978, over half the people in the U.S. who were asked said they believed in angels. Do you believe in angels? You might after this. As you can see in the video, someone is filming from an airplane window when you can see a pair of unknown figures flying through the clouds. What the heck? But as soon as they zoom in a dial up to slow motion, the angels appear wings and all. According to angel buffs, the angel is a heavenly being, superior to humans, who serve as an attendant and messenger of God, or a guardian for someone on earth. They typically have wings, 
are delicately beautiful and either glow or are surrounded by halos. This pair of so-called angels looks as if they're dancing through the clouds. As for angel mythology, they're drawn on greeting cards, painted on ceilings, and mentioned in one of every top 10 songs. Angel Food Cake, the California Angels baseball team, and the city of Los Angeles, Spanish for City of Angels, all show our fondness for and fascination with angels. Whether you're an angelist or not, this footage is very convincing in proving that angels exist. Imagine how people on the plane felt looking up into the clouds and seeing this. These videos prove that you do not need to travel anywhere to see amazing things from around the globe. It might not be as adventurous as packing your bags and getting on a plane, but it is the next best thing. So, like and subscribe if these clips gave you the escape we all need.